Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of my fretboard diagram videos. In this edition we're going to be talking about uh, steps, half steps, and scale degrees and how they differ. In another video I'm going to talk about the interval names. In this case I'm going to be talking about the intervals as they are scale degrees and I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. So we have a fretboard here. I always have my five uh, fretboards uh, in case I need to do something on another one. So let's say um, the first note here, um, in this case it's E, but it could be any note. The distance from the open string to the first fret, we call it a half step. First fret to second fret is also a half step, and that's on any string. If if we start in the low E string and move to here, that's a half step. This is a half step. This is a half step. Uh, this would be two half steps, or this would be three half steps, four half steps. Now the inner, uh, so if we count all of them back to the octave E, there's actually 12, and we can just count. So if it's open uh, and we move by steps 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, we can travel a half step 12 times before we've reached the octave note. Now when it comes to scale degrees, we have names for them. If this were the one, the two would be right here. The interval name is called the major second. For now, we're just going to call it the two. And then the uh, flatted two would be the note that's in between it. So one to a flatted two is a half step. One to two is is a whole step. Uh, or it's so one to two is two half steps. So in that case, it, it checks out as the same thing. The same number is associated with it. We have the flatted third or the minor third, which is one, two, three half steps away. Uh, but then we get to the, the, the next note, which is the third. And the third is actually four half steps away. And then five half steps away would be the fourth. And then six steps would be the flatted fifth. And then seven half steps. You see where this might get confusing if you're counting half steps. Well, it's seven half steps, but it's called a fifth. Why is it called a fifth? Because it's the fifth note of a major scale. But we all, a lot of us know by now, if you don't, uh, then you'll have to go back and um, learn more about major scales. But a major scale has mostly whole steps in it. So as we're skipping half steps, eventually we're going to get to a scale degree that is further away in the number of half steps than what we actually call it. So one, two, three, four, five, you can see we've skipped three steps. That's why it takes seven steps. So then the next note would be the flatted six, then the six. And if we're just looking at the major scale, we'll pull that aside. Then the flat seven, then the seven, and then that takes us back to the one. So if we look at the whole thing, half step by half step, then it would look like this. Now, some of these, we could call this the sharp two or the sharp four, the sharp five, and uh, sharp six in some cases. So uh, for now, I, I, you know, for the sake of this video, I used the flats. So half steps, all in order, using uh, chromatic scale degrees, look like this. So the second topic in this video, though, that I want to talk about is it's easy to count half steps on a single string. We just have to count the frets. But if we're counting half steps or counting steps from string to string, then that would be a little different. Let, I'm going to bring the one over here to A. So if this is a one, uh, which is A, if we know this note right here is, well, let's just use the open strings, actually. We'll divert and use the open strings. So we know that this is open E, and then this is open A. Well, how many, how many steps is it to get to A? One, two, three, four, five. Five half steps would be the fourth. So that would make this note your fourth. And so if this is your fourth, then 
this is your flat at five, this is your five, so on and so forth. We have everything lining up around it like that. So, but now if this is the fourth, then I'm going to copy these over here too. If this is the fourth, then this one right here, the flat is seven, would be the open D string because we go A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D. And then that makes the open D the same thing. It's the same note. So it would also be in relationship to where we've called the one, the, the seven. So then, or the flat of seven. So then that would make this the seven. That would make this the the one once again and then we can see here this is where our octave pattern comes from right here so i'm going to copy all of this over here and then this and this as well but in this situation now we need to move this up because this is the b string rule so now if you if you've done octaves on a the d string moving to the b string then you have an octave pattern that looks like this so with your blank diagrams uh you can write out the one anywhere and start to write around the notes around it i recommend doing this with scale tones in every major key as well as using the scale degrees to help yourself map it out and start to figure out which scale degree is uh, in, in, in a position on another string away from it. We'll go into more details on videos like this later, but I just wanted to set out an overview of some of the stuff we'll be doing in the future, breaking down the fingerboard. And um, also we have a, a, a fretboard diagram blank book that I will post the link of in this uh, in the description of this video. So hope you enjoy it and uh, we'll see you at the next video. Thanks.